Welcome back to Saskatchewan Place in Saskatoon, the 2003 SO Women's National Hockey Championships. It's 2 to 1, Quebec leading Saskatchewan after two periods. Lisa Marie Breton LaRue, the captain of Team Quebec, has joined us here. Uh, boy, you're liking it in uh, Saskatchewan thus far. Less than two full games, and you've uh, lit the lamp five times, scoring a few goals here, Lisa Marie. Yeah, yeah, well, I have teammates around me who pushes the puck on my blade and I just hit it and hopefully it goes in. Spoken like a team captain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it like being the team captain? You mentioned uh, to me that you've been the assistant captain for Team Quebec here at a few national championships. How much different a role is it now to, to be wearing the C on your jersey? Well, it's more organized national role, but I also would like to say that everybody could be a captain. Is a captain there for several team. And like being a captain, it's always a prestige, but it's also you have to concentrate on the ice and always be positive and put your team on the track all the time. You've been to this championship a whole bunch of times. You've got a mitt full of medals, a couple of gold medals. Does it ever get uh, to be a lesser of a, a big deal for you, or is every tournament just as important as the one before? Oh, I'm always excited to come to this tournament because it's the best the competition in Canada and every year is getting big, better and bigger and the competition is better so I'm always all excited. My year is that tournament. I'm looking forward to that tournament all the time. You've been playing at an elite level of hockey for a long time. You told me five years with Concordia University. Uh, now you're carrying on uh, in competitive hockey and in a league. Uh, tell me where you think women's hockey was when you started so many years back and where it is now, I would assume it's gotten a lot, a lot more competitive. Oh yeah, eight years ago I was in with Hugh Coutier in the University League and it was not that physical, not that fast and the girls were pretty small, now it's a lot more physical. In the NWHL, I mean, it's almost crazy. The girls hit and you like you skate, you never know when you're going to get hit. It's so much faster and better. It's improved a lot in the last five, uh, five years or so. So somebody like yourself has to be a little quicker on the draw when you get the puck on your stick. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We do <laughs> have to train more, especially now the girls have to train to be part of the team, part of every team. They have to train. It's regular. It's, that's if, if you don't mind, we'll check the monitor here. We've got your second goal on uh, video here and maybe you can describe what happens. Puck comes out of the corner here. Now did you see an opening to shoot this puck? Uh, or are you just throwing it at the net? I took a chance just between the the, the blocker and the, the post. I tried this place but just shoot it there, try to see if it's going to go in. Didn't look like you had any room at all, but the no. puck found the net and uh, it put your team in front. A two to one lead after the uh, first two periods. Thank you for stopping by and joining us. We'll You're let welcome. you get back to your team in the dressing room and uh, good luck in the third period and, and for the rest of the week here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Lisa Marie Breton Lebrew, the captain of Team Quebec, as they lead Saskatchewan two to one after two periods. SO Fun Day. Let's find out what that was all about. Yesterday, girls, women from 5 to 95 were invited out to learn a little bit about this game of hockey. We're at Saskatchewan Place in Saskatoon for the 2003 SO Women's National Hockey Championships. My name's Heath Mulligan. Glad you could be here from uh, wherever you are in Canada today after two periods of play. Team Quebec is leading Team Saskatchewan 2-1. to one. Both of these teams came into this game at 1-0 and oh in their round robin. Both of them vying for top spot in uh, Pool A. I mentioned earlier that there are two pools of five here, ten teams in all, of course. Nine provinces are represented. The lone provinces or territories without representation this year. Prince Edward Island does not participate in this uh, championships from year to year. And uh, our friends to the north, not too far north if you live here in Saskatchewan, but uh, the Yukon Northwest Territories uh, do not have a team in the event either. The ten teams will try to finish first, second, or third in their pool to advance to the playoff round, and uh, that takes place on the weekend. If you're in the Saskatoon region or somewhere in Saskatchewan, boy, you can come to Sask Place and see some great hockey between now and the weekend. There are so many top-notch players. Uh, I mean, you take a look at some of the players of the game today from the various games that were played uh, from early this morning, 8 o'clock this morning, they got underway up until this game. Now, uh, Vicky Sunahara was the player of the game for Ontario. 
in their 10 to 1 win over Manitoba. Uh, Colleen Sistorix, the player of the game when Alberta beat BC earlier today. Lisa Marie Breton Lebreu was kind enough to join us here moments ago as we see her and her Quebec squad getting out on the ice. There's Lisa Marie, the captain, getting her team uh, pumped up for the third period. Uh, for Saskatchewan, Laurie Alexander, a player of the game. Cami Granato was the MVP for BC in their 7 to 2 win over Manitoba earlier today. Cami Granato is the captain 